Hi Kirby fans, so in today's video we've got another Kirby pickup. So let's jump in and see what it is. So don't forget everything you use in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so in today's video, as you may have seen, we've picked up a Kirby Legend 2. Now, this is the second Kirby Legend 2 I've picked up. If you remember the previous Legend 2 I picked up around 18 months ago, it had been stored for years. It was pretty mint when I refurbished it, so it wasn't too bad. It had a little bit of a little bit of corrosion on it that I had to attend to, but other than that, it was in pretty good condition. Now, none of the hand tools had been used, and it just needed a new brush roll. Now, in today's video, this one I picked up for $20. <laughs> now, this one's in the box, all the tools that are in there. Now, I was told this has been packed away for around 15 years. I haven't opened the box yet, so we're gonna dive in and see what's in there and what condition it's actually in. Now, I did buy this of a retired person. How honest these retired people are, <laughs> we'll find out when we dive in and have a look. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. All right, so this is the Legend 2 I picked up last year. At. So I wanna open this, see how it stacks up against this one. Now, around a year to 18 months ago, I paid $50 for this, and it had been stored for years, and the only thing that needed to be placed in really in it was the brush roll. Now, this has been stored for 15 years, whether it's going to be a 1991 the same or whether it's going to be with the original tools that the Legend 2 came out with, we'll dive in and have a look. First up, it came with the shampoo system. Now, the box looks in pretty good nick. Said the shampoo system was used maybe once, maybe twice, because they had lost one of the bottles and they did buy a spare one. Now, this is the newer one that they bought, so it's not as yellow as the original one they had with it. It's got a new piece of foam in there by the looks of it. And we've got the original belt on there and we've got the original floor buffer as well that came with it that looks like it hasn't been used the shampoo system comes with the hose and we'll have to put the shampoo system so the shampoo system looks like that's pretty clean and if that has been used oh, there's a bit of fluff there so yeah it probably has been used maybe once now as we look on the sides there's no corrosion so I'd say it was definitely only used maybe once, maybe twice, and that is pretty spotless inside. And you can see from the box, the box is pretty mint as well. So as normal, the shampoo system hasn't had much use. When I picked up one of the Legend 2, that shampoo system hadn't been used at all. So we'll just put these back in, and then we'll dive in and see the condition of the Legend 2 in the box and what we get with it. So the original box has got a little stain on there from storage. We'll just lift this off and see what we get inside. So as you can see, it comes with a Generation 3 tool caddy. So it's not coming with the very early type caddy that's carried over from the Heritage 2. We've got two poles. So that's still in the original packaging. And I'm just pouring out, see how look it is. And doesn't look like it's had any use at all. So again, whether the tools have, we'll find out. So I'll look at the tools first. I've just clocked the Legend 2 and we've got some black tape in here. So it looks like the reason they stopped using it may have been the lead or it may have been the brush roll. So let's have a look at the caddy and have a look how much use these caddy tools have had. So underneath we've got the hose. Now the hose, it's got like a sticky residue on there. That's a brand new hose. The hose has not been used. So the, the hose hasn't been used. It's very sticky for some reason. I don't know why it's sticky. The stickiness is like what I had on one of some of the classic three parts that I, when I did the unboxing of that. Um, it's just a bit weird. I don't know if it's the rubber that goes sticky or whether something's been spilt on it. Um, I think it just might be the age of the rubber that hasn't been used over time and what it's coated with and it just, it's, it's making my hands all sticky. So I'll put that to one side and this is the caddy. So we've got the caddy of tools. So we've got the original portable sprayer. So in there we should have, if it hasn't been used, the strap. Yep, we've got a strap in there. Got some spare foam in there. Spare yellow foam for the shampoo system. Let's have a look. And that looks like it's been pre-cut. 
by somebody just out of a, a normal sponge. That looks like the original shampoo sponge and that feels like it's just gonna deteriorate from age. So they had a spare one of those, um, but that looks like it will deteriorate as soon as I touch it. So I'll pull this back in and we'll have a look at the tools. First we've got an air intake. That looks pretty mint. We've got our portable handle. Doesn't look like that's been used. We've still got our duster brush with the original rubber Kirby belt. Now these are the old type of belts. So these did not have any traction inside. They were just really thick, stiff belts. We've got the upholstery tool. And again, there's no cover on it. So where these upholstery tools didn't come with the cover that came on the G3 series. Um, I'm not too sure, but that's the second Legend 2 I've opened and it hasn't got that cover on there. Now, because these tools haven't been used, it must not be included when they brought this tool out with the Legend 2. We've got a pack of belts. So they love their Kirby. Pack of belts. Got another belt, another original belt. So they bought plenty of belts. So you've got plenty, plenty of original belts. I don't know how good they're gonna be because they're from um, 1991, 1992. They're not gonna be that much cop. We've got the inflator, de-inflator. Our wall and ceiling brush. So that hasn't been used. It's amazing how many people don't use these tools. We've got the, we've got the, I don't know what you call this bit, I forgot. <laughs> I'm having a blank moment. But that hasn't been used either. So that's what goes on top of your poles and you can adjust the airflow. You can comment down below if you can remember what it's called. I will remember after when I look at the book. <laughs> then we've got our um, pet groomer. And you can use these to remove light bulbs. So again, you can see it's from the G3 series. We've got our floor and tool. We've got the end for the shampoo system. We've got the crevice tool. Now, yep, the crevice tool normally tells you, because this is normally the mainly used tool with the Kirby's, and there's no scratch marks on that whatsoever. So this definitely hasn't had any tool use. We've got the original instruction book. Oh, and we've got a receipt in here. So we've got a receipt right up from the date of purchase and the actual price they paid for it. So we'll zoom in, see what they paid for this Kirby and when they actually bought it. Right, so looking at it, this was purchased on the 25th of March, 1992. So that just shows you how late the Legend 2s were running in Australia when the G3 was being released. Now this came with G3 tools as we've seen and it came with the G3 Caddy. Now, let's see what they actually paid for it. Right, so back in 1992, they paid $2,390 for the Kirby. Um, the rug renovator, there was no cost. They paid for the turbo tool at $195. And they bought a zip brush by the looks of it, one zippy, at $165. And the zip brush they got, I'll show you in a second, so their total was $2,750 and they pay cash. So they didn't have it on credit like when I was demonstrating the Kirby's and selling the G3's. A lot of the Kirby's were sold for credit. So this person actually paid cash for it. Um, so that was quite a bit of cash back then, looking back in the early 90s, if that was in dollars. Um, I don't know what that equates to in UK pounds, but I know in UK pounds we were selling the G3 back then for £1,295. So we'll jump in and just have a look at the turbo tool they got and then the Kirby. Right, so looking back at the receipt, they did buy the turbo tool accessory kit and they paid $195 for this. It's the G3 one. This hasn't been used. It's still got the massage unit, the scourer, the buffer, and the sandpaper in there. Then they got the zip brush as well, G3 style as well with that Legend 2 and they paid $165 for the zip brush. So again, the zip brush hasn't been used, the turbo tools haven't been used, and neither have the accessory kit. Just used it basically as an upright. Right, let's look at the Kirby. We've got the original handle, and that's in wrapping. I can see 
by the normal handle. That's had a bit, a fair bit of use, I'd say at least, and I can see that by the state of the lead. So this has had a fair bit of use. We've got the original bag. Now this bit obviously been washed. Yep, that's been washed. It's clean. It's been put away and oh, there we go. So there is the turbo tool. So we've got a G3 turbo tool. So obviously Kirby was selling these Legend 2s and I know there's a shortage of G3s, but it came with the G3 brush. So they've got the G3 turbo zip brush and that they were selling with this. I still got the original cardboard around it that Kirby would keep on there. Um, I remember this part in the packaging. This is an original, that's not original. That's just foam that they've thrown in by the looks of it. So let's just have a look at this Kirby. We'll take it out and have a look at the state of this Kirby. Well, let's just take this off. So looking at it, it's not that bad from what I could see. Um, we've got a few scratches here. We've got a bit of oxidization on there. Let's just check the brush roll out. So flip that off. And we've got the original brush roll. And that stiff. Original brush and the original belt. <laughs> I don't think this is going to turn. We'll try it out and see if it will turn with that original belt. But from what I can remember, these belts were really stiff to turn anyway. So we might have to stick a new style belt on there. So we'll try that in a second and we'll try and give it a run. Now I must be brave because looking at the lead, the lead has got more patches than a patchwork quilt. Uh, you've got a bit of tape there, a bit of tape there. If we turn the Kirby round, it's been reattached here, so they've put a new end on it, and I don't know if they've soldered it or taped it together, so we're risking life and limb whether we turn this on. Now, on this as well, which I haven't got my other Legend 2, we've got a G3 toe touch control, but it has got the Legend 2 colours. So whether Kirby are releasing these with that style toe touch control, I'd assume so because the G3 wouldn't have had that color on there. The G3 would have been a red and not a purple. The wheels have got quite a bit of wear on there as well. Um, let's just check what the year is. I did forget to look at the year when we zoomed in on the receipt, but it was built in factory number four. It's a 1991 and it looks like it's an August. So, so it's an August 1991 Legend 2. Right, so also it came with a bag. Now surprisingly, it's a G3 bag. Now I haven't seen one of these since I demonstrated the G3. So that's quite surprising and it hasn't been used. Um, how good it would be after this amount of time, I'd be quite surprised. I don't think it would be that good. Um, but to have a G3 bag with it, that just proves that the G3s were out, but because they were struggling to get the G3s, they were still selling the Legend 2s. They've obviously got some that they were selling with the G3 caddies and the Legend 2 parts, just upgraded to the G3 style. So we'll get it set up and uh, we'll see if she runs. So we won't go on the lead round because we've got one, two, three, four joins in it. Uh, so I'm putting life and limit risk here just for you guys to see if this actually works. We'll try and wind this belt on, see how we go. So we'll zoom in and wind the belt on. If we, if we can't, then we'll fit a new Kirby belt. So just see how tight this belt is to wind on. There's no original sticker here. Someone's put a bit of vinyl on there. So I'd say it's had a new belt lifter at some point. Let's spin that out. And we'll leave that on for the moment. And we'll just see if we can turn this belt. And that, Jesus. There is no way, no way I'm gonna turn that belt, no way. So we'll put a normal Kirby belt on. Um, the thing was with these old belts, they didn't have a lot of movement in them. 
They were, I remember them being hard when my mum got the Heritage 2, they were hard to turn on. But that is solid. So look at that compared to the new Kirby one. You've got a lot of flex in there. So I don't know if these lasted a lot longer because they were thicker, but you hadn't got the rigid pattern on the inside like you have with these that gave it the grip. So I'll slide that on there and hopefully this will turn. Is that gonna, oh, that's a lot easier. And that's gone on. You can see there's quite a bit of wear on here as well, it was really shiny. It's still got the original fan in there, so the original gray fan. So we've got a new belt on there, it's wound on. We're gonna plug it in and uh, I'll see you in a bit if I don't get electrocuted. And don't forget everything you used in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. So make sure you check those out at the end of this video. So I'm still here, it ran. Um, it didn't run too bad as you heard. So as you can see, we've now got two complete Kirby Legend 2 systems with the shampoo systems and the boxes. At the moment, this is the better system. This one has got quite a bit of work to be done to it. So we will dive in in following videos and get a full refurb of this. I'm gonna be stripping this one down complete to the armor chassis. There will be tutorials coming to the channel on how to strip your Legend 2 or Heritage 2 or even earlier down to the armature, down to that motor. For those who don't know how to do that, I don't think I've shared that before, I just did it off camera, but I will do this one complete strip down and complete rebuild. There's also gonna be a polishing video coming up as well by hand, so if you've got any corrosion on your Kirby's, the video to watch will be the when I do the three stage corrosion removal on this one. And we have got some more content coming up. I've got some small sponsored videos coming up. I'm just waiting for products to arrive. So those will be airing in the next couple of months as well. And don't forget everything you used in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. So make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so I enjoyed that brief unboxing. And as you can see, I picked up an amazing machine for it to come with the generation three tools as well, which was quite surprising to get that zip brush and get those turbo tools accessory now like i said in the video they did pay a lot for this back in 1992 so i've now got two legend 2 machines this one we're going to totally refurbish it and i will be going down to the armature and showing a tutorial on how to strip your legend 2 right down to the armature so make sure you don't miss that out when it airs into the video when i picked up my other legend 2 i'll put an icon above linking to that so make sure you check that out at the end of this video those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notification so you don't miss any coming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like a quick comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one.